so many experiences that maybe that I have had during those years. I think that reflects in the music itself. Well, it's time to see if Glyne's previous competition experience will stand her in good stead for this category final, as she becomes the first competitor to take to the stage. She's going to begin her programme with a popular piece from the harp repertoire. It's an impromptu by French composer Faure. It has a really, really good opening. I think it's, it's important, the first piece that you play, that you... Um... I don't know, that it says something about who you are and, and what kind of performer you are when you, when you start your programme. For me, the foray is the most difficult piece because it's an impromptu and it has so many sections to it. It's difficult sometimes to bring all the sections together and make it as, as one, you know, music, basically. Well, Glein will be continuing the French theme with her second piece, which is another impromptu, this time by Roussel. I always think of performing as, you know, basically just sharing it with everybody who's in the room. Um, whether it's a competition or a concert, it's still performance. The music is still the same, so I try and bring out the same message, even if there are a panel of judges there or not.
Caroline's final piece will take us from France to sun-drenched Santa Fe. Entitled Sundance, it's by Welsh composer William Mathias. I think the third piece is a kind of atmosphere piece. Um, I think it's, it's very strong and very heavy. Um, and I think it's much more powerful than normally the, the stereotypic um, pieces for the harp. So I think that's, um, well, I hope it's going to go down well. <laughs> Klein David there with a polished performance that immediately sets a very high standard for this strings final. She really gripped me from the very first moment to the end. And how does it feel? Yeah, it's exhausting. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, the adrenaline kind of pumps everything in. So it's um, it's uh, yeah. Sorry, I can't speak at the moment. It's <laughs> just yeah. I really felt that I would I would pay money to go in here, which is kind of the ultimate question. Really, really top stuff. Did you yeah. feel it went well though? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I think there's always with performance, there's always things that you can work on, but uh, I gave it my best shots and uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Well, next up, and hoping to impress the jury, is 17-year-old viola player John Hewitt-Jones.